Hello dear 8th graders, my name is Nezhena Pavic and I will be your teacher today. The topic of today's lesson is nature and science and we will talk about fast trains in Japan. By the end of today's lesson, you will be able to show understanding of a text while listening about it, about the Japanese fast train, and also you will be able to present a design and describe your use of it using the structure, the comparative, the comparative. For this lesson, you need a notebook, a pencil, and a device with internet connection. Obviously, we have come up with technology that has totally transformed our world, like cell phones and the internet. But nature has been solving problems for billions of years and came up with some super efficient solutions. So lots of researchers look to nature for solutions. Today, we will talk about one really cool idea that we borrowed from nature. Look at the pictures below. What do they show? The first one is a kingfisher. And what is the name of this bird in creation? Do you know? Yes, this is Vodemar. Kingfisher is a bird found in many parts of the world. Kingfishers have a large head and a long narrow beak. And the next one is an owl. Owls are very quiet in flight compared to other birds. And what is the connection between the two birds and this bullet train? How is Japanese Shinkansen, a long-nosed bullet train that travels up to 240 to 320 kilometers per hour, like a kingfisher or an owl? How these birds influenced this high-speed train? Listen to the text and find out how two birds inspired the Japanese bullet train. Before listening, read the questions, and then after each section, pause the video and answer the questions in your notebook. And enjoy listening! Bullet, tra bullet trains are called Shinkansen in Japan. They started producing them in 1964. Bullet trains are a symbol of Japan and were the world's fastest trains. They traveled at 320 kilometers per hour. You might assume that the challenge for the Shinkansen was how to make it run faster, but the greater challenge was how to make it run quietly. They could travel very fast, but the sound levels exceeded the environmental standards. There were two noise challenges for the engineers. The first challenge was the loud tunnel boom that the train produced at the tunnel exit. It was like a thunder, or an explosion. The faster the train travelled, the louder the boom sound was. The noise broke the sound barrier. Eiji Nakatsu is an engineer and birdwatcher. He knew what caused the boom. When the train rushed into the tunnel at high speed, pressure built up in front of the train. By the time it reached the tunnel's end, the air was moving as fast as sound. The train pushed all the high-pressure air out of the tunnel and produced a large boom. Mr. Nakatsu remembered the kingfisher, a bird he had seen in the wild. He found the answer by studying this tiny bird. Kingfishers can fly up to 40 kilometers per hour. 
they dive straight into the water from the air. But the kingfishers hardly make a splash when they break the surface of the water. How is that possible? Kingfishers have a large head and a long, narrow beak. Their beak is just right for the task, it gets skinnier closer to its tip. The bird inspired Mr. Nakatsu to mimic the kingfisher's beak and apply it to the shape of the front of the bullet train. And so the engineers modeled the front of the train like the kingfisher's beak. It has a pointy part just like the beak of the kingfisher. When they tried out that new model, it moved through without creating the boom. And sure enough the more aerodynamic it was, the more energy it saved. This second source of noise was produced when air hit pantographs. The faster the train ran, the more noise it made. Eiji Nakatsu learned that the owls are the most silent flyers of all birds. Somehow, an owl's feathers emit almost no noise. It seems that the owl family has acquired the function of quiet flying so that prey, such as mice, receive no warning that the owl is about to strike. He learned that one of the secrets of the owl family's low noise flying lies in their wing feathers. There are many secondary small sawtoothed feathers that protrude from their primary feathers. Other birds do not have these small sawtoothed feathers. These secondary feathers produce smaller mass of air and less noise in the air than the primary feathers produce. It took two engineers four years to apply the same principle to pantograph. Finally they succeeded in reducing noise enough to meet the world's strictest standards. This technology has already been applied to aircraft and to the caps and boots of professional skaters. And here are the answers. You might have the same or slightly different answers to some of the questions. So let's see. In Japan, Shinkansen is a bullet train. They travel at 320 km per hour. The first challenge was the loud tunnel boom. It was like a thunder or an explosion. Eiji Nakatsu is an engineer and a bird watcher. The train pushed all the high pressure air out of the tunnel. They can fly up to 40 km per hour. They hardly make a splash when they break the surface of the water. A long and narrow beak. The engineers model the front of the train like the kingfisher's face. The second source of noise was produced when air hit pantographs. The owls are the most silent flyers of all birds. They have many secondary small sawsfoot feathers. And this technology has been applied to aircraft and to the caps and boots of professional skaters. And now, after listening and answering the questions, look at these words and expressions from the text. Could you understand the meaning from the context? Copy the ones you still don't understand and translate them into Croatian. But first, please listen to the pronunciation. Assume. Challenge. Exceed the standards. Sound barrier. Pressure buildup. Kingfisher. 
big apply to pointy part aerodynamic pantographs emit no noise acquire the function strike sort those feathers protrude from Your following task is to choose any five expressions that seem important to you and use them in sentences of your own. Send the sentences to your teacher. And on to the second part of this lesson. I have a question for you. If you study more, do you learn more? You could answer this question in two different ways. If I study more, I learn more, or the more I study, the more I learn. In this structure, the comparative, the comparative is used to show increase or decrease of something. And there are three examples of the structure in the text. Listen to the text again and try to catch at least two sentences containing the structure. You can pause the video anytime you need and listen to it as many times as you want. Bullet trains are called Shinkansen in Japan. They started producing them in 1964. Bullet trains are a symbol of Japan and were the world's fastest trains. They traveled at 320 km per hour. You might assume that the challenge for the Shinkansen was how to make it run faster, but the greater challenge was how to make it run quietly. They could travel very fast, but the sound levels exceeded the environmental standards. There were two noise challenges for the engineers. The first challenge was the loud tunnel boom that the train produced at the tunnel exit. It was like a thunder or an explosion. The faster the train traveled, the louder the boom sound was. The noise broke the sound barrier. Eiji Nakatsu is an engineer and birdwatcher. He knew what caused the boom. When the train rushed into the tunnel at high speed, pressure built up in front of the train. By the time it reached the tunnel's end, the air was moving as fast as sound. The train pushed all the high-pressure air out of the tunnel and produced a large boom, Mr. Nakatsu remembered the kingfisher, a bird he had seen in the wild. He found the answer by studying this tiny bird. Kingfishers can fly up to 40 kilometers per hour. They dive straight into the water from the air. But the kingfishers hardly make a splash when they break the surface of the water. How is that possible? Kingfishers have a large head and a long, narrow beak. Their beak is just right for the task, it gets skinnier closer to its tip. The bird inspired Mr. Nakatsu to mimic the kingfisher's beak and apply it to the shape of the front of the bullet train. And so the engineers modeled the front of the train like the kingfisher's beak. It has a pointy part, just like the beak of the kingfisher. When they tried out that new model, it moved through without creating the boom. And sure enough the more aerodynamic it was, the more energy it saved. This second source of noise was produced when air hit pantographs. The faster the train ran, the more noise it made. Eiji Nakatsu learned that the owls are the most silent flyers of all birds. Somehow, an owl's feathers emit almost no noise. It seems that the owl family has acquired the function of quiet flying so that prey such as mice receive no warning that the owl is about to strike. He learned that one of the secrets of the owl family's low noise flying lies in their wing feathers. There are many secondary small saw-toothed feathers that protrude from their primary feathers. Other birds do not have these small saw-toothed feathers. These secondary feathers produce smaller mass of air and less noise in the air than the primary feathers produce. It took to engineers four years to apply the same principle to pantograph. Finally, they succeeded in reducing noise enough to meet the world's strictest standards. This technology has already been applied to aircraft and to the caps and boots of professional skaters. And let's check. The three structures in the text are the faster the train traveled, the louder the boom sound was, 
the more aerodynamic it was, the more energy it saved. And the faster the train ran, the more noise it made. If you have the same structures in your notebooks, great job. Well done. Let's have a look together. What do we do? We take if away and add the to the beginning of both parts of the sentence. And then we rearrange the order of the words so that the comparatives sooner and better are after the article the. And you get what? Mm -hmm. Yes, the sooner you come, the better it will be. Can you rearrange the following sentence in your notebooks? If you talk more, you understand less in the lesson. Well, grab your pencils, copy the sentence and rearrange it into the comparative, the comparative structure. And let's check. So first add the to the beginning of both parts of the sentence and then rearrange the order of the words so that comparative more and less are after the article the and you get the more you talk the less you understand in the lesson. And then one more sentence. If you travel a lot you know more Pause the video, copy the sentence and rearrange it in your notebooks. And the structure is, the more you travel, the more you know. Well done! And now it's your turn to get down to some creative work. This time you don't have to start from scratch. You can think of a device that already exists for example, a drone, a robot, and then modify it to serve your purposes. Draw a design and describe your use of it and use the structure, the comparative, the comparative at least once. And of course, use at least five new expressions or words that we have learned today. Then prepare a presentation for your classmates and of course include some photos or illustrations and you can get inspired by inventions from other teenagers if you visit the link weekly inventions 8 or if you scan the QR code you can see on the side. And then you can have a class vote on the best design and the use of it. And who knows, you might inspire an engineer to turn your device into a real one someday. And before the end of today's lesson, one more task. Pretend someone asked you, what have you learned at school today? What would you say? Please write your answer in your notebooks. Did you enjoy today's lesson? I hope you did. Till next time, bye bye.